story begins in about 1994 when I was walking my son in the cemetery at his grandfather's funeral, my son Lowell, I began to hear voices. Not long after that, my wife divorced me and I had a psychotic break. And then I really started to hear voices. They prescribed the wrong medicine for me, Stelazine, and that worsened my condition instead of bettering it. <coughs> I freaked out in the hospital and I had a lady who was subject to OCD who was overweight and she kept calling Chris, Chris, Chris and wouldn't leave me alone. And that was for about three weeks. In the uh, in the no-fly ward in the ICU intensive care unit in a uh, local city hospital. It wasn't much fun. And I had been on drugs and I wanted to get off of those and they were about the only thing that gave me relief from the voices, however, because the medications weren't, you, weren't working. Life continued and the voices got worse and worse and I switched doctors again and then again I switched doctors until I finally found a doctor in the next city over who gave me the right medication and that turned out to be Geodon for me. I'm not saying it's right for you or anybody else but for me it was the right medication. There are certain medications that I'm scared of but like Clozeril, but they work fine for, it works fine for a friend of mine. Um, she's able to shop and have a wonderful time on it, and she sleeps much better than I do, etc. She does fine, and she doesn't suffer from any delusions now, and I don't suffer from any delusions either. Presently, I have occasional delusions and I have strategies for dealing with those. I go into the shower and uh, I observe them while I'm in a safe, warm, womb-like environment. And they pass and when the water is turned off, the drone of the water ceases and the voices tend to go away. Now the voices don't persist. I just, it's like a fly on my arm. I go into another room and it's gone. It tends to stay in the room it was buzzing around in. I say buzzing because Beelzebub Prince of Demons, or Beelzebub, was my arch nemesis. By that I mean he was the source of the voice that constantly harangued and antagonized me for many years, from about 1994 to 2008 or so, until my meds really worked very well. So about 14 years, and I've been well from 2008 to 2013, so about five years now. I've been fairly high functioning. I enjoy doing math and art. I both paint acrylically and do graphs and trigonometry and Microsoft 
Excel. And uh, I uh, have heard the voice of God. I will testify on the stack of Bibles. I've heard him shake every crystal of quartz in and on the globe and it was a wonderful experience one I shall never forget in a great calm voice that was most reassuring most gentle most kind, most merciful most honest, most truthful most loving voice I've ever heard and ultimately absolutely good and wonderful and a source of mystery to me and I say this knowing that the words he spoke were not words that my mind could have come up with and likewise Beelzebub spoke words that my mind would not have come up with and he repeated them endlessly which my mind would not have done to itself. It just, I just don't attack myself that way. I'm not, I'm not vicious like that. This is to me an outside force. I believe my psychiatrist when he says that this is excess brain excitations that need to be calmed down with SSRIs, anti-reuptake medication because that's what works as does prayer but um, without God I would not have made it through and without cigarettes I would not have made it through I'm not trying to quit I'm going to have one now but I smoke too much <coughs> my lungs are not in great shape I guess I was picking my nose there with the mouse I don't know if that will turn up on the screen or not at any rate um, my schizophrenia drove my family away as did some odd behavior of mine as far as disciplining my children and talking over people constantly and being a source of authority and discipline rather than a loving father. And I had to have things my way or it was the highway for everybody else and so I threw everybody out of the house and the divorce was very hard on me and hard on my ex-wife, but we are friends now and she has come back to live with me in this house and uh, a couple of times and as have the kids and my eldest son Scott lives with me now and is a joy to have here, keeps me company and we laugh at each other's jo jokes and watch some football and uh, clean up the yard and uh, joke about the foibles of others. I play in a small band with my friends. I have a good diet. I'm overweight but losing about three or four pounds a week. diabetic so I drink my orange juice my experience with the voices was absolute hell I wouldn't wish it on anybody they kept me from going out they, they kept me from socializing they kept me from seeing my friends I was in group therapy on and off for years which did not really help except for it allowed me an excuse 
to color with oil pastel crayons and I was very productive as my hypomanic side came out and I uh, produced about one drawing or coloring per hour or 50 minute session out of uh, six sessions per day and that was for months at a time so I produced lots and lots of those and they got put up on the wall and everybody commented on them and everybody wanted them so many of them have been given away if not all of them uh, certainly the vast majority and I have pictures of some which maybe I'll include in here somehow and I paint as I said on canvases that are 16 by 20 inches I find it a convenient size to work in I do some abstracts, but mostly uh, I tend towards realism. I've done portraits of uh, my wife and youngest son. I have, we have four children. And of uh, my eldest daughter so far. I have my eldest son and youngest daughter yet to do. I started the one of my youngest daughter there. I'm doing two portraits of each child. Uh, the first one was my youngest son with his mother. And they are all on the same day, which was a special day down in Carmel, which is where Holly and I were honeymoon. And we went to the Monterey Bay Aquarium that day, and Lowell was being commissioned off to go to West Point and join the military for a five-year stint which has turned into a bit longer and go to Iraq on its first tour which he managed very well his brother went to uh, I can't remember the name of the school, Williams, and then also Harvard and Oxford in England, and did quite well, but dropped out, saying it just wasn't for him any longer. His sister went to UC Berkeley, and the youngest, our youngest Irish, Gina Lease, has been a world traveler, deciding not to go get a formal education. But she has uh, studied yoga and uh, raised herbs and studied farming and languages. She can speak five languages or so now. Um, and the kids are all quite accomplished. And we're very proud of them. So my life really is pretty good and I'm pretty fortunate 